Okay, hello everybody. Today I'm making a carrot cake baked oatmeal, uh, which is, I got the idea from Michelle Gerard. This is a shout out to Michelle, who posted this recipe and a few other people, I think from the gym have done this, including Becky. Um, and it's something that I wanted to do because I absolutely love oatmeal. I eat it like every single day and it's very good for your heart, for your cholesterol levels and that. Um, so anyway, I wanted to do this. So I've got all my ingredients ready to go. So come on with me, let's do this. Okay, so first we're gonna start with uh, two cups of oatmeal and I'm using the large flake oats, be oats because they're the ones I like, they're the fluffy ones. So we're gonna put two cups of those in. We're going to add two scoops of vanilla protein powder and I use the casein. This is actually kind of a thicker uh, protein uh, mix. So it's gonna, it's gonna be interesting how this works with this. So two scoops of the vanilla protein. Then I've got some uh, baking, baking soda, powder. A teaspoon of baking soda, a teaspoon of cinnamon, half a teaspoon of allspice. I just love the smell of allspice. In fact, I bought this when I made Welsh cakes a little while back. I'm gonna have to make those again. And I think it's half a teaspoon or a quarter teaspoon of salt. So we're just gonna add all that in. Okay, then I'm also gonna add half a cup of raisins. I tried to find golden raisins because they're my favorite, but they were completely out. So just half a cup of raisins. And I am gonna add walnuts. That wasn't part of the recipe, but um, I've been eating a lot of walnuts lately. They're very good antioxidants and um, super tasty. And whenever I think of a carrot cake, I always think of walnuts. So I'm doing about a quarter cup of walnuts. So just to give it that little bit of crunch and then for my wet ingredients I have one cup of uh, almond milk so unsweetened almond milk so just gonna add that in then I'm gonna add um, two eggs voila two eggs so we'll add that in mix that around Half a cup of applesauce. So I'm just using one of these little containers, which I believe is half a cup. Quarter cup of melted butter. So I've just melted this butter. So I'll just add that in. Quarter cup of maple syrup. This is, I believe a quarter cup. It's all I have left. So you have to buy some more. I should have made sure I had this, but It'll be enough. So quarter cup of maple syrup. And then last but not least, our one cup of grated carrots. I grated these myself. So I'll just put that in. Okay, I've set my oven to 350 degrees. I've got my, I'm gonna do uh, a cake tin. This is the first cake tin I ever bought at Home Hardware, which is Michelle Gerard's over here in town. So I've just put some um, coconut oil uh, around the pan. That's tight enough. And so we'll just start to put our cake batter in here. Okay, that was really simple to do. So our cake is ready. Let's put it into the stove. 350 degrees for about 45 minutes or so, 45, 50 minutes. Oh my God, I forgot to add the vanilla extract, but my casein has got vanilla in it. So I'm hoping that that's not gonna make too much of a difference and you'll still have that flavor, but. Okay, I'm just steeping some tea. My cake has come out of the stove. It's just been cooling off here. So let's try, um, let's cut into this. 
Oh, that's nice. Wow. Okay, let's try a bit of our carrot cake baked oatmeal. I think I said that right. But here we go. Still hot. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that's good. Mmm. Mmm. Wow, even without the vanilla extract, it tastes just right. It's not too sweet. Thank you, Michelle, for this recipe. Bye for now.